Michigan Head and Spine Institute has 11 offices across Southeast Michigan, including our newest location in McLaren, Oakland, and Pontiac. Skull-based surgery is a minimally invasive approach to remove tumors near the brain stem and is a specialty of Michigan Head and Spine Institute neurosurgeon Dr. Jeffrey Jacob. Skull-based surgery is a subspecialty within neurosurgery that utilizes highly specialized techniques to get to some of the deeper areas of the brain. We've been fortunate to organize an extraordinary team that involves multiple specialists, ENT surgeons, facial plastic surgeons, ophthalmology, and other experts utilizing the techniques that we do. We're able to get to these tumors in very safe ways, and patients are able to return back to work and their families without any significant disability whatsoever. You can learn more about treatments for conditions of the brain, neck, and spine with our video brochures in the patient education section of mhsi.us. We've added to our staff to answer your call quicker, so please stay with us. Sean thought his headaches were caused by a chronic sinus infection, but after he passed out at work, a visit to the ER uncovered something else, a tumor near his brainstem. You have a large mass on your brainstem. The size and the location of the tumor, the complexity, was something that they were going to have to reach out to a specialist for. That's when I met Dr. Jacob from the Michigan Head and Spine Institute. Sean had a very large tumor. He had very severe swelling in the brainstem. We talked about various strategies on how we operate on these complex tumors and how we do it as a team approach. And that's how he came to meet my colleague, Dr. Babu. We have a neurotologist, which is my field of expertise, and we have our skull-based neurosurgery, which is Dr. Jacobs' area of expertise. Given the very severe swelling of the brainstem, we felt it would be safest to do this surgery in parts. So our main goal was to reduce that brainstem compression, allow him to get most of his faculties back again, and then when he's healthier and more stable, we'd go back in and do a completion surgery to remove the rest of the tumor. I had a lot of relief from that first surgery. A lot of my headaches were gone after the first surgery. All the dizziness was gone. Once he'd recovered from that, we brought him back to remove the remainder of the tumor. For the whole team, for the Michigan Ear Institute and the Michigan Head and Spine Institute, I mean, obviously I owe them everything. Michigan Head and Spine Institute and Michigan Ear Institute, working together to transform lives. You can see more patient stories at mhsi.us. Use our online patient portal to request an appointment or a prescription refill. It saves you time and allows us to respond faster to schedule your appointment, refill a medication, or answer your health questions. Go to mhsi.us. Over a few months, Kevin began experiencing some strange symptoms. My right side of my face was feeling numb to the touch. And I'm at the movies, and I'm watching the movie, and I'm having trouble understanding what they're saying, so I'm cupping my right ear. I start to notice I'm getting headaches, back right side of my head, and I don't get headaches, rarely. Also, I notice my taste buds are off. He saw his ear, nose, and throat doctor who ordered an MRI and gave Kevin the results. And the first words out of his mouth are words you only think you're gonna hear in a movie. I wish I had better news. You have an acoustic neuroma. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. You have to call Dr. Babu at the Michigan Ear Institute right now. An acoustic neuroma is a benign tumor that affects the hearing or balance nerve, uh, and that can also become life-threatening if it becomes a very large tumor. And I said, you need to know what I do for a living. I'm a concert pianist. The stakes were high, and Kevin's surgery was a team effort with neurotologist Dr. Selesh Babu of Michigan Ear Institute and MHSI neurosurgeon Dr. Jeffrey Jacob. After Dr. Babu performed the exposure, I performed the tumor resection, removing the tumor off the brain stem and dissecting it off the facial nerve. Dr. Jacob is so skilled that he was able to preserve the entire right facial nerve so I have 100% facial mobility. During surgery, the team listened to music, 
a recording of Kevin playing Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. That meant so much to me when I heard about that because they truly had a full picture of who they were working on and uh, hopefully it inspired the two of them. I, I, I can't stress enough what a team they make. Michigan Head and Spine Institute is pushing the boundaries with the latest head and spine techniques. Stay with us to learn more. Get the latest on new treatments and see patient stories when you like Michigan Head and Spine Institute on Facebook and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter at MHSI Detroit. As a teenager, Stefan was diagnosed with a benign tumor at the brain stem near the trigeminal nerve that controls facial muscles. He was told it didn't need to be removed, and occasionally he had blurry vision. But 15 years later, things got worse. My eye got blurry again, but it didn't disappear like usual. So um, I agreed with my ophthalmologist that we should do an MRI. After the MRI was done, it was uh, referred to me that I should contact the Michigan Head and Spine Institute, the office of Dr. Jacob. Safan had been followed for a smaller version of the tumor they now had, but now it had grown quite significantly, requiring surgery. Dr. Jacob teamed with neurotologist Dr. Selesh Babu of Michigan Ear Institute for surgery to help Stefan. Dr. Babu was able to drill bone, sparing the normal surrounding brain and hearing structures, and allow access to the deeper areas of the brain and brain stem. And I was able to utilize that access to take out the tumor. The recovery was effective for me because I was prepared for everything. And I was actually just happy that everything went well. And I was happy that I didn't have pain. And I was happy because the doctors predicted uh, what actually happened to me. Like uh, they predicted that I will have facial numbness on my right side, which actually is true. So I was prepared for that. Uh, they told me that I might have uh, blurry vision or I might have double vision after the surgery, which actually happened. They also briefed me before that this will go away. And this made me just, okay, yeah, I can deal with this. I know what's going next because I was briefed very well by the doctors. So compared to what could have been, it is, for me, it's peanuts. It's, uh, it doesn't bother me a single bit. I can live with it uh, quite good. See how Michigan Head and Spine Institute is changing the lives of people just like you. Watch our patient stories at mhsi.us. We've added to our staff to answer your call quicker, so please stay with us.